5,976. That's the number of new coronavirus cases reported in San Diego County today. And that is a record high for new cases in a single day since the start of this pandemic. It's a similar situation across the country. There were nearly a half a million new cases today. And because of that spike in cases, there are warnings tonight about New Year's Eve celebrations, which are just hours away, as well as about certain kinds of travel. And we have team coverage tonight. Fox 5's Kasha Gorchek starts us off live from the Gaslam Quarter with a message from health leaders and how venues are adapting. And it is a lot of adapting, Kasha. Good evening. Certainly, and at the last minute, it feels like, Susan, there's dozens of these New Year's Eve celebrations planned all over the county, all of which were likely planned well before this rise in cases. But now both U.S. and local health officials are urging the public to possibly rethink their plans. If your plans are to go to a 40 to 50 person New Year's Eve party with all the bells and whistles and everybody hugging and kissing and wishing each other a happy new year. I would strongly recommend that this year we do not do that. For many, the celebrations have been planned, reservations made, maybe even tickets purchased. But now top health officials are asking everyone to proceed with caution this New Year's holiday. For last year we had to shut down completely, uh, so outdoor wasn't even a factor, unfortunately. Uh, but we're really excited. Uh, we've been planning at least these events for at least two years. Venues like those run by the RMD group are doing everything they can to keep the environment safe. Their events at Lumi, Rustic Root and Hard Rock all have the outdoor advantage. With the rooftop venues, it's very open air, fresh air. All of our staff still have masks on we have sanitized stations. We're very conscious of cleaning up after a lot of frequently touched areas. Thursday, San Diego County health officials put out a memo urging the public to avoid large celebrations after a record nearly 6,000 COVID cases were reported the day prior. Recommendations from the county include wearing a proper mask, limiting indoor activities, and if you're experiencing symptoms, stay home and get tested. With the newest strain, it's a little more uh, challenging because we have a lot of staff and, and they're they seem to be kind of in small groups. A few will get sick, come back, feel better. A few will get sick. So it's just kind of this continuous um, kind of challenge, right? And uh, we're, we're just working through it. And if you are trying to be cautious before seeing friends or family this weekend or in the coming days, just a reminder, all of the county's free COVID-19 testing sites are closed tomorrow and on New Year's Day. Reporting live in the Gaslamp Quarter tonight, Kasha Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News. Kasha, thank you.